Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. It's roughly in the night right now by the time I'm recording this. Just an hour shy before the server resets. So hopefully you guys have actually catched up on the Basara Gacha because I noticed the view count on that video is low but it's kind of expected because it's Basara. <laughs> Not many male Macross fans are interested to see uh, our burning passionate young diva. Well, he's not really a diva, but okay, artist. <laughs> um, you know, dressing up and looking all uh, wonderful for all the concerts that he's going to take part in, in the game. So anyways, hopefully with Min Mei's video, there might be a few more of you to watch the content. Uh, although Min Mei is not as popular as well, but you know, it's kind of expected. Anyways, it is one of the more popular costume designs for Uta Macross. It is the Stella design or rather the constellation designs for the costume. Min Mei has finally gotten hers. I wonder when the rest of the divas, including I think Basa already had his. I think so. <laughs> I can't really remember off the top of my head. But yeah, anyway, there are a few more people that still have yet to get yes, especially Milane, who is on my screen right now. <laughs> um so yeah, hopefully the rest of the Remaining people who are in the game uh, will receive their costumes sooner or later. Um, but for now, let's dive into the gacha page and take a look at the episode plate for Minmei. Because, well, technically Minmei's costume is locked behind this gacha wall. So for Minmei fans and of course costume collectors, we have no choice but to pull this gacha banner. Alright, so let's take a look at the episode plate and see how it fares. 3,882 total score at its plus 25 luck value. Without the luck, it comes in at 3,632. It's actually one point lower than Basara's solo diva use plate. So, I think it's okay considering that Min Mei's plate can be used by Mikumo, Kaname, and Cheryl. So that's fine. Um, and it seems like most of the recent episode plates have always been focusing on voice. Hmm, well, uh, it's okay, I guess. Um, then, of course, Soul comes in second place, and Charm once again sticks the horrible dive down the gutter. Center scale, voice up. Unit's voice is boosted by 90% up, which is pretty fantastic. But once again, if you have 7 star episode plates, there's really no use for 6 star episode plates being in the center position of your setup. Moving along. Active skill, it's the modern version of the rundown active skill. For 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. Not fantastic, but it does something. Anyways, life skill is what we're here for. Short duration ability, so it is the affection level score up. So once again, if you guys are Kumo fans, Kanami fans, Cheryl fans, and Minmei fans, if you have any of your waifu's divas affection levels maxed out at level 60, you will definitely be able to enjoy the full 120% boost in score with this life skill. Alright, moving along. Yes, it seems like it's a trend nowadays that all the 6 star episode plates come with a special notes attached to them. I don't know. I think it's becoming a bit too more a uh, too commonplace. Um, you know, having episode plays with score notes, eventually it becomes um, just a war between who has the best stats on each of the episode plays and who can use the episode plate itself uh, if this continues on. Um, like I said in the last video, maybe Dana might think of something new to tr toss into the game. Uh, aside from 7 star episode plates, maybe they might toss in you know, a rare up star for 6 star plates to become 7 star plates. Uh, that's what we've seen with 6 star episode plates. I mean, 5 star to 6 star there is. So anyway guys, with all of that said, is this plate worth pulling? Well, if you don't really have enough episode plates with special score notes attached to them, I guess adding one more to the collection won't hurt, especially for Mikumo, Kaname, Cheryl, Minmei fans. This plate is definitely a must to try and attain. You know, it's always nice to have it in your collection. And of course, the main reason is to try to get costume points for Min Mei's costume itself. So let's do this. It's gonna be a short video today, hopefully. Uh, no double digits in the digit count. <laughs> let's do the single free pool 
this is the evening session. That's why you see the moon crescent there. Alright, no load bar. I wonder if you'll see Valkyries. Nope, no Valkyries. That's okay. Hopefully the luck is reserved for the main gacha pool itself. So, like in the last video, I did mention I was kind of uh, lacking a bit of the singing stones to pull the discounted pool for Min Mei. Uh, luckily enough, I had some songs that have yet to be played, so I claim all the free stones from there. And sure enough, yes, I barely made <laughs> the 300 discounted template pool. Alright, so it's close to the 26th of April, which is what my next ticket is going to expire on. So let's do a template pool here. If we get something nice out of this gacha pool, I think it's okay. But still, we need the bare minimum for costume points to try to attain Min Mei's costume. There we go. So we did get a bit of a load bar there. Oh, Golden Knob with three Valkyries. So I definitely won't expect a 6 star episode plate here. Okay, let's skip all the common stuff. A vast mixture of Macross series plates. Okay, a bit of Min Min Love. That's fine. Alright, let's keep going. Skipping even the red boxes by accident. <laughs> As usual. Just too impatient. Alright, okay, so... I do have this plate fully evolved. Um, it's definitely an old episode plate considering that its total score is like below the 3600 range, but that's fine. Um, short skill ability. Ooh, it has a healing note attached to it. So that's pretty rare. We don't see a lot of episode plates with the healing ability nowadays as well. Mostly just item notes and score notes, which technically are the two best notes to have. Anyways. Alright, let's do this. Single three pool from the featured banner. Okay, here we go. Oh, Valkyrie animations? On a single pool? Okay, if you give me costume points, I'm more than happy to receive it. Nope, not costume points. Ooh, double digits. Okay. Alright, so here we go, the final pool for this video, which is the template discounted pool. Hopefully we get something nice out of it, at least the bare minimum. Because I really don't have any more singing stones to do <laughs> any more pools. Oh, there was no load bar. That's kind of worrying. Uh-oh. Am I even going to get costume points? I mean, technically I could get costume points from future gacha pools, but... You know, what are the chances? This is pretty rare, unless the costume gets featured again in repeat banners. Alright, first red box, no evolution. That's kind of expected. No costume points for Min Mei yet. That's worrying. There's a lot of Makina and Reina. Alright, here's the last one. Oh boy. So... We didn't even get the bare minimum. Oh my goodness. So this video is really a flop. Uh, it seems like even the OG diva did not remember to give me love. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's it for today. The video did cross a bit slightly over the two digit timer mark. So as usual guys, let me know what are your thoughts about the episode played down below in the comment section did you guys manage to get costume points at least or did you even pull out the main featured episode plate for Min Mei itself let me know everything once again down below and before I go do the usual stuff like share subscribe you know good good stuff share the culture around the world bye <laughs>